UGA platform and shaped one striking physique. And the word agility stayed at the top of mind when they fashioned the stunning lines and the side profile. Yeah, it's sleek, but it's highly athletic and it, it, it both has its looks and performance. And on either side of that profile are muscular flanks and available 18-inch wheels. Now take a look up at the nose. It has a new trapezoidal grill and standard LED headlights. And while our designers made it look amazing, our engineers made it feel amazing. Its center of gravity is lower. Torsional rigidity is up a massive 60%. And suspension friction has been cut 40%. So Corolla hatchback is now lower, wider, longer, which means together with its all new four cylinder, two liter, dynamic shift CVT and updated suspension, this Corolla has more than a pinch of sports car soul. Sporty Corollas? Yeah, we know a thing or two about them. We also know about feel. That's why hatchback still has a six speed manual transmission and it's only fitting that a car as emotive as this has an expressive interior to match. It's simplified craftsmanship inside. So our team is focused on the feel, the character of all the services and materials and how they all interact and play off of one another. Now in either the SE or XSE, the front passengers have easy access to the standard eight inch touchscreen, automatic climate control and in-tune audio. And everyone inside has phenomenal visibility as well, and not to mention are treated to the most comfort <coughs> in this segment. Now take a look at these standard features. We have Intune 3.0 with Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa connectivity, Smart Key, and an available premium JBL audio system. They all make the, the driving experience even more pleasurable one. And then there's safety. Now when it hits dealers this summer, it'll be the first Toyota in the US to offer the latest generation of Toyota Safety Sense, or TSS 2.0. It's the only vehicle in its class to offer such a thorough system as standard equipment. So, what's the 2.0 all about? Well, we've added low light pedestrian and daytime bicyclist detection, and lane tracing assist that helps the car to stay centered in its lane. We've also added Road Sign Assist, a technology that identifies road sign information. Yup, the Corolla hatchback, it's stacked. But hang on, we got one more thing to share. Check this out. the drift muscle at this season Frederick Osbo is behind the wheel again and we're going to be fighting for another championship so you got to go to the Toyota booth and check that car out and while you're there please wish Frederick good luck and a great year all right so speaking of muscle I mean good strong muscle let's shift gears a little bit and talk about the all-new RAV4 for 2019 you guys ready for this one? All right, simply put, now very simply put, RAV4 is huge for us. It's our number one selling vehicle and the best selling non-pickup in the USA. Now just last year we sold more than 400 RAVs in the US and globally RAV4 is dominant. Let's take you back, 1994 when it first came on the scene. RAV4 literally charted the course, having four-wheel drive, higher ground clearance, and a compact body with large tires. It started the small SUV segment, which is obviously what today, the largest in the industry. It was the ideal set of wheels for those living in an active lifestyle who wanted to live life to the fullest. Yes, that funky little thing right there <laughs> It created this segment. And over its life, we've listened to our guests and to our dealers, many of which, over 25 of them, are here today. We focused on what we do best. 
we honed, we improved, and it's worked. Now listen, in just the last five years, RAV4's volume has doubled. He has doubled from 200,000 to over 400,000, and that speaks profoundly to the segment's attractiveness and growth, but ultimately to RAV4's popularity. Hey, what can we say? The RAV4, it may be genetically gifted, but hey, don't take my word for it. Take a look at this. XSE HV is now the quickest across all RAV4 models. 
Yes, that's right. The quickest RAV4 is a hybrid. It's sporty, has more power, and by the way, as you would expect, anticipated class-leading MPG. It's, 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 it's a, it's a no-compromise, maximum blending of sport and utility. Now, well, it keeps getting better because we're excited to let you know that RAV4 will also get TSS 2.0. And again, it's standard on every grade. You know, you ever wonder, how come our competitors don't take safety as serious as we do? I don't know. And for the first time in RAV4 history, guests will have access to multi-terrain select, giving drivers the ability to maximize traction when driving through snow, mud, sand, or rocks. I'm telling you, RAV4, it's coming in hot. Are you, are you guys keeping up? <laughs> it's coming in hot. And remember back in LA, when I said we're going to change the SUV game? Yep, we did it again. RAV4 now rides on our TNG platform with multi-link rear suspension. That means it has shorter overhangs, a longer wheelbase, and a sleeker silhouette. And on top of that, solid base is a 57% more rigid unibody. So, RAV4, wider, lower center of gravity, and still manages to have more ground clearance. And each body paddle has a sophisticated twist to it. You know, there's a stronger nose that leads the, you know, the, the cleaner profile, robust shoulders, and available 19-inch wheels. It's more aerodynamic, and thanks to relocated side mirrors, there's stellar forward visibility. And although it's evolved into something grand, we're proud to say that RAV4 still maintains its compactness, unlike some of the competitors in this segment. And for adventure grade right here, guests will get large over fenders, roof rails, and an aggressive grille inspired by our off-road heritage. Now looks wise, now stick with me here, looks wise, it's got what I call the meaner demeanor. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And inside, it's refined. It has a refined theme that comes to life thanks to an open cabin filled with high quality materials and impressive arrangements. It's so good and so well equipped, the only problem might be that our guests just keep on driving. They're gonna love the multiple storage solutions, the in-dash tray within arm's reach and the generous legroom out back. Rear cargo volume is the same on HV and gas grades, thanks to the HV battery that's now tucked under the back seat. And naturally, the level of atmosphere includes some goodies like panoramic moonroof, ventilated front seats, and heated rear seats, all of which are available on this top RAV4 Limited. And there's also tech galore. Check out this digital rear view mirror that gives drivers a clear view at the flip of a switch. And RAV4 also has available Qi wireless charging and up to five USB ports a newly designed 7-inch multi-informational display, and to top it all off, there's the standard Intune 3.0 with Amazon Alexa, Apple CarPlay, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. It's evident that RAV4 will continue to exceed expectations, not just for our guests, but for the segment and the industry. You know, RAV4 has changed the, the game since day one, and it's going to continue to do so. Gold standard? Well, a few of our competitors try to claim that. But paradigms, mindsets, now that's what RAV4 shifts. And we're just getting started. Today we're honored to have Chief Engineer Saiki San from RAV4 and Chief Engineer Kenishi San from the Kola Hatchback here with us today. Now, yeah. And now, before we invite you all on stage to get a, take a closer look, please allow some time for the photos of both vehicles with their respective chief engineers. Enjoy the rest of the show and have a great Easter week. Thanks, everybody.